subscribe, subscribe to Chaos Culture Radio. Guys, you already know the routine. The link is pinned on top of my chat in my community tab and also my bar. Remember, we do go live each and every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 o'clock Eastern time with my good man, Prince Hakeem, and my good man, New Jordan. Ever. Hope to catch you at what in the live stream. So this one right here, I re- I was pretty much ready to talk about the aspect of Boozy and uh, Raw Wave. You know me, I'm a heavy fan of Raw Wave for a very long time. I I, I respect his music, especially his new, um, pretty much his new, pretty much his new album, Nostalgia, which went gold. Um, so shout out to him. And the first, I think in the first two weeks, it sold like close to like I think a hundred, a hundred, a hundred, a hundred k. I don't know, it's a hundred k records. If I'm not sure, but I could be wrong. So my girl. Uh, Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments of the, how many records he sold, but I think it was 100 to 200k records, which put me him on the, in the gold status. So he did a really good job with that album. I love the album. I think I listened to the album like it, every other day because you know he speaks some facts on that album. However, one of the songs Boosie didn't like. I don't have the video of that song, but it's simple fact of how um, Boosie pretty much stated how Long Journey he took it from him because he had one of the, one of that song, the hook on his one of his old records so pretty much he wanted to address um raw waves that hey you know you use you use my hook but yet you don't give me credit and now me i did research on that and rob you did you kind of use his hook and did not give the man his credit see the thing about the music industry it's hard to be creative so they go around they shop and listen to different people i'm gonna be like hey what do you think about this what do you think about that yeah we can use that on the song but at the end of the day you still need to get permission from the actual creator who actually created that song so boozy got upset but then raw wade went ahead and addressed boozy real quick. and that shit got to stop man man you ain't got to sue no nigga like me man i'm gonna pull up fuck you talking about suing me i hope that ain't what he said hey bro i'll pull up on you bro tell me a number tell me a real number though <coughs> I don't care, I don't know what they gonna pull up and make sure you straight. Nigga, you got the fucking two feet. Fuck. Yeah, that's the thing. Boozy was talking about, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and sue. But I think Boozy came to a turn of heart because he met, you know, them two, they, they mess with each other. So he came to the turn of heart and then he did another response video to Raw Way, which came out yesterday. And here's their clip. Niggas, I ain't trying to break no nigga pocket. I'm a, I'm a business man. I'm fair game, bro. Just one of my little cousins, bro, you know. He said he was going to get back at me. He ain't got back at me yet, I mean. That was earlier this morning, so. Hopefully he'll get at me tomorrow. I've been hitting him up tonight. Man, tell them folks that ain't no diss track, bro. Tell them folks that ain't no diss track. What? The uh, business man is out. Nah, the business man ain't no diss track. It's just letting them know I'm a businessman, and basically that's it, you know. What I say at the end of the track, I say, man, I'd be grateful when motherfuckers sample my shit, bro. You know, I want everybody to sample my shit. You know, I got a, I got a hell of a catalog, but just make sure I'm compensated like everybody else get compensated. You know, that's what I said at the end of the track. You know. That publishing going to them. I say, you crazy one I'm mad. I say, you crazy one I'm That's who that's for, bro. Like, I'm straight, bro. <laughs> yeah, I talked the right way this morning, so hopefully we finna. And there you have it. See, Boozy's a real cool dude. Remember, at the end of the day, he's not doing it for him. He's doing it for his kids to make sure his kids are well off. Until they well off, meaning to his next generation, to the next generation, the next generation. So it's no diss to uh, way at the end of the day. He, he what well, Boozy say is the truth. He should be able to be compensated like everybody else do be compensated. So I don't have no shade towards Boozy. Boozy, I think what he's saying is absolutely fact. Um, Raw Way, I think he's gonna work something out with him. And not only that, I think they um Boozy also stated that he don't mind working on a song with him as well. Cause right now, um, Wild Wave is taking waves right now. So. He he don't mind doing anything else, but the situation um, but the situation between Boozy and Kodak, I will probably do that on a later reaction video because I think um, cause Kodak never responds, so that's why I'm just waiting on his response. Soon I get his response, then I'll do my reaction to that. And how what's my thoughts 
between um, Boozy and Kodak. But between Boozy and Ron Wave, I know they're going to work things out. Because remember, we got to keep them out. Um, Ron Wave right now is, is going on tour. And I think he's coming to Miami soon, So which is in December. So the man, he's he doing his thing. He's doing his thing. And like, uh, and if you are up and coming artist, make sure if you use anybody records, anybody's song, make sure they get compensated. And also one more thing, they also say saying, um, Raw Wave was also using some of the lyrics from Tupac and also Jay-Z. People got to keep in mind, sometimes these artists have writers. They're not the main one writing. Sometimes it'll be other people writing. By the end of the day, they're going to hold you responsible because you're the face and you're the image of the brand. So I think Raw Wave got to probably do an evaluation on his team because they're going around saying a lot of things that could get him to the, some, legal, some legal trouble will also could leave him Bro, subscribe to Kelco Trader. Remember, link to spend on time in my chat, in my community time, and also my bio. Remember, we do go live each and every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 o'clock Eastern time with my good man, Prince Hakeem, and my good man, New Joe Nera. Hope to catch you at one of our live streams. Be over and out. Peace.